There are two ways you can dress with a diamond roll or a diamond disc. You can go unidirectional or anti-directional. Let's look at each of those. When you dress in the unidirectional mode, or some people call that the synchronous mode, the wheel and the diamonds are moving in the same direction at the point of contact. When you dress in the asynchronous mode, or the anti-directional mode, at the point of contact, the wheel and the diamonds are moving in opposite directions. Depending on whether you go uni or anti, you're going to get very, very different wheel topographies and very different grinding conditions. So let's look at these two situations. If we're dressing in the anti-directional mode, this is what we have. The diamond grit comes along and it just sort of clips the aluminum oxide grit and most likely makes it dull. If we dress in the unidirectional mode, then that diamond grit sort of dive bombs or kamikazes the aluminum oxide grit or it crushes it and therefore it's much more likely to fracture it and make it very very sharp. So this wheel is going to be very dull. This wheel is going to be very sharp. So just a couple months ago I went to a company and they were having atrocious problems with a grinding burr. Their parts were coming out as toast they said. We looked at their grinding parameters, we looked at their uh, cooling, we looked at the whole thing. Finally we got the dressing and I said which direction are you dressing the wheel? They didn't know, we got to the back of the machine, we looked at the diamond roll, we looked at the wheel and we found that they were dressing in the anti-directional mode. I said, change the direction of the roll. That was easy. It was a pneumatically controlled roll. Just flipped off the two uh, hoses, dressed in the unidirectional way, and boom, the grinding burn disappeared. And that's a pretty typical situation. Let's look at another example. This is the output from the grindometer. And what we have is spindle power. Basically, more power means more heat, means bigger risk of burn. When we were dressing in the anti-directional mode, we got the power signal in red. We changed only one thing, and one thing only, we changed to the unidirectional mode. So now we've got the kamikaze, dive bombing, crush dressing. And then when we were grinding, you'll see that the power went down by about a factor of 50%. So now we've got half the heat going into the grinding zone, a much lower risk of burn simply by changing the direction of the diamond roll. So you've got a choice. You can dress in the unidirectional mode, you can dress in the anti-directional mode. The anti-directional mode will give you a little bit better surface finish, but a lot of heat generation and a bigger risk of shatter. Going in the unidirectional mode will give you a rougher surface finish, but a lot less heat and a lot less risk of chatter. Given a choice, go for the unidirectional mode your surface finish isn't quite there, use a smaller grid size. But I'd rather see you use the right grid size in unidirectional than too big of a grid size in anti-directional. Use the right grid size, go unidirectionally, and you'll find that a lot of your other headaches with burn and chatter and other things just disappear.